Hi, I am Amit Lunkar. In this video, we discuss about the definition of antacids and the ideal requirements of an antacid. Let's begin with the definition of antacids. Antacids are the alkaline substances used to neutralize the excess gastric hydrochloric acid associated with gastritis and peptic ulcers. Examples are aluminum hydroxide gel, calcium carbonate, milk of magnesia. Now we discuss about the ideal requirements of an antacid. It should be insoluble in water and has fine particle size. It should be able to exert its effect rapidly and over a long period of time. It should not be absorbable or cause systemic alcoholysis. It should not be produce laxative effect or does not produce any constipative effect. It should not cause any side effects. It should be stable and readily available. The reaction between antacid and gastric hydrochloric acid should not produce large volume of gas. The antacid should buffer in the pH range 4 to 6. And lastly, the antacid should probably inhibit pepsin, which is the proteolytic enzyme. So all these are the ideal requirements of an antacid, but not a single antacid will fulfill all these requirements. That's why the antacids are given in combination. For example, the aluminum containing antacid combined with the magnesium containing antacid. Why? Because the aluminum containing antacid will produce the constipation and magnesium containing antacid will produce the laxity effect. So if you combine these both, the total effect gets nullified. That's why it is given in combination. Like some antacid which produce the effect rapidly and one which produce the effect over a long period of time. So these are get combined. That's why the antacids are given in combination. So here we discuss the definition as well as the ideal requirements of an antacid. Hope all of you getting. Thank you and happy learning.